Days of mourning across that tight knit community, both of them have already begun. And this is we learn more about the officers who were killed and the suspect that investigators say shot them. Our Paul Bloom headed out to Barron County today and joins us from Barron tonight. And Paul, these communities are no strangers to tragedy, though. You know, Kelsey, Amy, I can't help but think as this procession, this solemn law enforcement procession rolls into town along Highway 8 into Barron, they would pass the one-time home of uh, Jamie Kloss's family. Remember five years ago, the teenager kidnapped, her two parents brutally murdered in cold blood, and now these communities grieving once again. We're all sad. It just seems like the town just like whew, got quiet. The grief here overwhelming in the tiny Wisconsin communities of Chatek and nearby Cameron, both honoring fallen officers killed senselessly over the weekend during a traffic stop on the rural highway connecting the two towns. What a horrible thing for Easter, for this family, for these families, for, the, for our community. It just, I don't know, it's just so sad. According to authorities, in the middle of Saturday afternoon, Chatech officer Emily Breidenbach and village of Cameron officer Hunter Scheel stopped a 50-year-old motorist by the name of Glenn Perry. Perry had an active warrant and law enforcement had received some type of notification of concern about his behavior. There was an exchange of gunfire. The two officers killed at the scene. Perry later died at the hospital. A cross now marking the spot of the deadly shootout. I just don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. Um, it's just, it's so, um, it's just horribly sad. In Chatech, the 32-year-old Breidenbach was remembered fondly for her love of community, children, and animals. One friend posting this precious video of the officer showing off her giant personality, dancing with kids. Sheil, meanwhile, was just 23, an Army National Guard veteran with just a year of law enforcement experience. Monday, their squad cars draped in flowers and memorials. Heroes who paid the ultimate price protecting and serving this corner of Western Wisconsin. In addition to changing the lives of their families and friends forever, this event has touched me, my department, local law enforcement, and law enforcement around the world. And I want to take you back to our live pictures uh, from our helicopter as this procession uh, and these two officers uh, return home. Their bodies were taken to the medical examiner's office today uh, for autopsies, and now they come home for final goodbyes. These two police departments and the sheriff's office here in Barron now preparing for the funerals. I do want to point out that the Division of Criminal Investigation, the equivalent of Minnesota's BCA, is handling the investigation into this deadly traffic stop shootout. Those local uh, authorities that we heard from during that news conference just not commenting on the specifics or what set off that suspect to have this deadly outcome. Two officers killed, the suspect dead. We're live outside the Barron County Justice Center for you tonight. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. Yeah, such a heavy time for those communities. Thank you, Paul.